So this is white snake root, uh, sometimes called rich weed, uh, white sanicle. Um, this is a neat little plant in the Eupatorium family. Really did things like Joe Pine, even though it's a different genus. I believe it's Ageratina uh, altissima, I believe. Um, anyways, it's a fall bloomer, and because of, uh, because of the small but very compact uh, light-colored uh, flowers, this attracts all sorts of very small pollinators usually especially little tiny wasps. Um, they love this kind of thing. Um, it doesn't get fed on very heavily by, uh, by much because uh, the leaves in, in uh, white snake root are, are toxic. In fact, they're very toxic. Um, it's believed, uh, at least to certain things, it's believed, for example, that the death of, uh, of Abraham Lincoln's mother is attributed to milk poisoning, the milk, uh, the milk that she drank from her cows. It's because they had fed on this plant that the milk turned bad, it was poisonous, and so she died as a result of milk sickness and the milk sickness being caused by the ingestion of a poisonous plant by, uh, by, by uh, you know, by the cows that produced it. Uh, but it's a, it's a great little plant for all sorts of different kinds of, um, of pollinators, and certain caterpillars and stuff do feed on it. As a matter of fact, um, there we go, um, it's notorious for a very specific kind of of a leaf miner, you can actually see the leaf mines. As this this thing is so small, I believe it's a little micro moth, a little tiny um, caterpillar that feeds inside. Could be a fly, but but again, I think this is the caterpillar. It feeds inside, and it's so small that it actually fits in between the leaves. But a neat little plant that has tons of neat of uh, of of, of uh, history behind it, um, folklore like the Abraham Lincoln part. Uh, it's incredibly deer tolerant, of course, because the deer don't want to eat it. Uh, provides a burst of fall color. It's semi-shade tolerant, so you can see how it can grow in some less than uh, ideal situations as well. can tolerate a, a wide variety of different conditions. So a great uh, naturalizing plant, but it is naturalizing because this plant will, um, will spread quite vigorously. The pollinators, they visit it so much that it gets very heavy pollination, so it produces a ton of seed, and it spreads very quickly. So white snake root, uh, one of the, the neat uh, fall blooming plants that we have here in the Mid-Atlantic.